Good day friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another 3D printing video, so let's get cracking. Friends, today we're going to be playing with the Artillery Sidewinder Pro. Real quickly, if we visit their website, you'll note it has a new updated look. I do not see any files that were new, but I just wanted to show you they have changed the page just a little bit. Now today we are going to do a little bit of a stress test for the Artillery X4 Pro. I'm going to show you a file. I will search for it here. It is a articulated slug. As you can see, typing slug gets you a lot of options. This is the one we're looking for. Check it out. 15,000 likes. It's been up there since 2021. If you slide down, the designer recommends 0.1 millimeters, but we're going to do it with 0.2. We are not going to adjust the speed either. With these settings, it took just under eight hours. Friends, we're going to try and do it in about two hours. We'll start by grabbing the files. I like the ones with the brims already added. If you add the brims in software, it'll do it all the way around the body too, which can be pretty annoying. Friends, all you do is hit download to bring it to your computer. I already have that step out of the way, so let's just click plus. In the search box, I'm going to type slug. And there is the slug with brims. Now, there are a ton of comments about users not having success. They talk about scaling it up so that the gaps are larger. We're going to simply just go with what we've got. It's going to be 0 0.2, 0 0.25, four perimeters, five solid layers, three on the bottom, aligned. Infill is going to be at 5%. Of course, we're going to not have any skirt or brim or support material. If we check out the filament, I am running PLA, 210 and 60 are my temperatures. And bingo, we can go back to the platter. We can hit slice now. And just like this, we can upload and print. Friends, let's see how this turns out. So friends, while that print is running, you can see right now it is 12%. Current speed is 15 millimeters per second. So the machine is actually smart enough to slow down because the parts are complicated. I love being able to keep track of this in the interface. For the most part, I have not messed with anything while the printer's running. For a couple prints, I did lower the Z offset, which was super slick, just a couple clicks and a quick adjustment, especially when I was printing my Flexi Snake because I wanted to make sure that stayed on the bed. I have not adjusted the speed on too many prints. I did bump one up to 125% and it worked fine. I am not in a tremendous hurry with my prints, so I am just letting the printer do what it does. And right now, I gotta tell you, I am absolutely loving the Artillery X4 Pro. And check it out. We're at an hour and 48, and it's almost 100% done. And there you can see it on the screen. And the final moments. And let's take it off the bed. That's easy peasy. And check it out. It's ready for us to start breaking it apart. All right, so if you read, the user mentions theirs took eight hours, and then you just have to work to break these apart. As you can see, the Artillery X4 Pro is absolutely crushing it. We just need to work through and loosen these up. He mentions starting from the ends and getting to the middle. If you find one that's a little bit stuck, just pry underneath it with a fingernail or maybe a knife. And eventually, after a bit of wiggling, you will have them all loose. Of course, we do need to remove those brims. Here you can see mine is already almost all the way loose. There's a couple back here. Notice you can just pry underneath 
and boom, work your way around and free those up just like that. Of course, the more you play with them, the better they get. Friends, an articulated slug on the Artillery X4 Pro in about two hours. How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you once again about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got a tab about Tinkercad with tons of awesome tutorials. You'll also find the awesome 3D printer page with information about all the printers that I've worked with. Finally, friends, if you look down in the bottom corner, there is a sweet built-in message until you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.